Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Father's Day weekend ended up being a pretty nice weekend. It was also our first fully dry weekend in two months, but now it's all about the heat. We do have that heat advisory in effect for the entire Susquehanna Valley until 8 p.m. Heat index values could rise as high as 104 today, and because of that high heat and humidity, air pollution is going to be sitting very close to the surface, so we're under a code orange for most of the Susquehanna Valley. That means the air quality is unhealthy for sensitive groups, people that may have asthma or young children or the elderly, so it's an action day in terms of the air quality. Mold levels remain to be high in UV index is high thanks to the very high sun angle, one of the highest sun angles that we see so far in the year. So you could burn in about 10 to 15 minutes. You can really see that haze right there on our Harrisburg sky cam. Above that, we have mostly clear skies, but remember some of that haze that's near the surface is in the form of air pollution. Right now it's 88 degrees in the capital city, but it feels like it's 97 because of the oh so high dew points right now sitting in the 70s. That is tropical air. It's 89 already in Lancaster, 90 in Carlisle. The dew points are sitting in the low to mid 70s, and this is what it feels like out there. Feels like it's 98 if you're watching us in Carlisle. Feels like it's 97 in Lancaster. Above that uh, low lying haze, we have clear skies, but look what's happening off to our north and to west. We're starting to see a very weak line of showers and thunderstorms forming. Some of these may drift into the valley this afternoon and the evening, and because it's so warm and humid, they could be on the strong side and produce some heavy downpours or some gusty winds. Chances for showers and thunderstorms are low through the day, but notice the complex of showers and thunderstorms off to our north that moves in later tonight. First, we'll see the clouds from it. Then eventually we'll start to see some passing showers and some thunderstorms. And the good news is once the front moves on by, it takes the edge off of the heat. So hazy, hot and humid today feels like it's in the 100s. Actual air temperatures will top off in the low to mid 90s, and we're just not rolling out a few isolated thunderstorms. Better chances for some scattered thunder showers will be around through the overnight hours, and the best spot for that is along in north of the turnpike. Tomorrow is a transitional day. It's going to be sticky in the morning. There still could be some passing showers, but the cold front will continue to push on through. will rise back up into the mid to upper 80s for tomorrow afternoon, but it will not be nearly as humid. So the best rain chances through the rest of our day and on into Tuesday will be overnight and then slowly tapering off as we head through early tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon should be completely dry. You can see how quiet the weather is across the middle of the country. That's where we find the center of the ridge of high pressure, that heat dome that is building over the eastern third of the country. But we're going to start to see that cold front come in from the north and take that edge off the heat. So notice here on the predictor, a few passing showers and thunderstorms. Better chances for those scattered showers will be around during the overnight. Notice best chance for those will be north of the turnpike front starts to move in. It's a sticky start to our Tuesday morning, but during the afternoon, the front clears us on out and we'll start to see our weather improve and the humidity values will start to drop. Better chances for passing showers and thunderstorms returns to the area on Wednesday. The best days of the week, actually the first days of summer. Yeah, we're getting a taste of the high heat today, but it's going to be pleasant on Thursday for the solstice. Then we start to see our temperatures and humidity and rain chances creep back up heading into next weekend. It's be easier. careful today. Yeah, no, absolutely. And it's easier to deal with though when you know that it's not going to last real yeah, long. This won't be a heat a wave. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much.